Uh, the U.S. launches preemptive strike on rocket sites near occupied Syrian oil fields. Now, guys, I've told you before that the uh, the oil market is heating up. There are a lot of interesting things that could really cause oil to skyrocket. And, you know, we always talk about when things go really bad, we start going to shooting wars. And I know that we hit targets, it seems like, pretty fairly often. But I think at this day and age... Uh, with everything as fragile it is, this is pretty pretty serious. So we'll see how this comes out. So it says late in the day Tuesday, uh, the U.S. carried out what is being described as a preemptive strike against rocket sites in eastern Syria that posed a threat. Posed a threat. According to a U.S. coalition official statement, the official speaking on condition of anonymity said the coalition saw several launch sites near the Green Village in Syria. Reuters reports referencing an American base in I can't even pronounce it the official did not specify from which country the coalition carried out the strike you know one question I have is does Syria have a central bank right now can you guys put that in the comments below I'm trying to remember I'm trying to remember if Syria has a central bank I remember Iraq didn't but then they did and then I remember some other countries didn't, but then they did. And I, Syria, I'm just throwing, I'm, I just, I'm curious, there's some interesting stuff happening. Just throw that in the comment section. That's I, Sorry, I digress. But uh, The base that was being threatened is in Syria, oil-rich eastern region, for which years American forces have occupied in support of Kurdish-led Syrian Democratic Forces. In the same area lies the country's largest oil facility at Al Omar oil field, as well as Conoco gas field, both under U.S. SDF control. Something Damascus and Moscow have long condemned as an illegal occupation presence intent on blocking Syria from its own vital energy resources. Guys, I'm going to bring you, I mean, to say that this area is under serious stress and pressure right now is a understatement. But I think what's going to be very, very interesting is in the next week, if this turns into something worse, if we start to see other le world leaders condemn what we just did, I think it is going to be very, very interesting. So I wanted to bring you this article. I'm going to list, post it in the uh, comment section. Or I'm sorry, the description below. If you guys haven't uh, subscribed, if you would consider subscribing, really help me out. I just want to bring you the, what I believe is the most important news of the day because of where our economy is. Remember, guys, be prepared, not scared. The Economic Ninja is out.